All right, so George, you know, you get up in the morning and you hear, okay, well, a number of Israeli government websites were down, they were hit, and your eyes glaze over because, like, oh, yeah. But the truth is, one, your eyes shouldn't glaze over, and two, this is terrible news. I mean, Israel prides itself on its cybersecurity. What the heck do you think happened here? Well, like anything else, Jim, it's a uh, it's a brutal world out there in cyberspace uh, between nation actors, uh, e-crime uh, actors, and and even hacktivists. And uh, any number of companies, governments, or organizations can be hit. And again, this is why companies like CrowdStrike exist to help organizations of all sizes and scales prevent against breaches and, and keep them safe. Since the Colonial Pipeline, I have not heard of ransomware. Have there been a lot of ransomware? In uh, moment since then. Absolutely. In fact, what we've seen with our threat intelligence group, which is uh, several hundred people, and we get visibility from 176 different countries uh, where we've got our agents or sensors, we see the ransomware attacks. And in fact, uh, e-crime is actually up since the war in Ukraine started. Everyone's looking at nation state actors. Everyone's talking about Russia and Ukraine, as they should be uh, it's a terrible situation, but the e-crime actors are looking at that as a distraction and ramping up their activities and stealing more money uh, as the days go on. One of the things that worried me about your quarter, I mean, I'm glad for you, but worried me, was that you uh, got a, a Fortune 50 financial institution. So I said to myself, hold it, if that's my institution, does that mean that someone might be, uh, like, say, maybe taking $8.38 from my account every day? So I don't notice. Well, I mean, I hope that isn't the case, Jim. I hope you, you would notice. But um, we were excited to have that financial institution. We got 15 of the largest 20 financial institutions in the world, which I think is a testament to the uh, technology we've built and, and our success in the enterprise. And uh, our goal is to keep uh, your bank and all the other banks that we have and financial services companies safe. And that is one of the areas right now, given the uh, geopolitical environment, there is a big focus on the financial services industry, uh, expecting some level of retaliation based upon the sanctions that we've implemented against Russia. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.